Hello again. Welcome back to my channel. I haven't really got very many views. I guess this takes a long time, but eh, that's okay. It's still fun. My kids watch them and stuff. And the RV's still not ready to go. I'm doing some things to it that I don't really want to don't really want to share, but it's coming along. Uh, anyway, I was out today, running around looking for these. Of course, there are none. Dirty thirties, no, dirt like gone. So I was looking around and I decided to get myself a a new pellet gun. It's pretty nice. I mean, it's the first brake barrel that I've ever owned, and I was kind of shocked with the kick that it has. <laughs> a giant spring in there. But uh, yeah, it's a Winchester. 1100S. The S stands for synthetic stock. This is the box it came in. Never minded Winchester. It's a neat little gun. I got it sighted in. I shot it about a dozen times and I kept missing. So it's raining today. I don't want to go out there and get it all going. This is what the box says. It's a nice gun. It's got some power though. I'm shooting these little things with it. Made 10 bucks for 200 of them, I think. Even that, there was only two left. People are buying buying those up. It's kind of crazy. But I'm good on everything I need. There's a side box. I didn't like the packaging that it came in at all. The box just seemed like it was too big for it. It is a big gun. It weighs 11 pounds. I gotta get a strap for it. I'm getting some squirrels with it. It's a pretty nice gun though, I like it. I like it a lot. That's what I always do, I always show the directions here. You guys can pause it and read what you wanna read. I like it. I'm gonna try some different ammo. That's for sure. Maybe it's the ammo that's the reason why I'm missing. They'll try something more of a round tip because, I mean, if you can see them, that's a point one seven seven. There it goes. But it's not bad. There's all that. Yeah, I'll show you this. It's got a neat little safety on it. Every time you break that barrel down, there's a safety back here that automatically goes on once you put your pellet in. You can only put one pellet in at a time. It's built pretty good. It's a really sturdy gun. And don't be nice to it when you cock it. It's, I mean, it's not hard to pull down, but even when you put it back up, uh, just kind of slam it in. Don't put it up easy. It shows you a picture there. Heavy though. I want to get a strap for it. Maybe a tripod. Let's see here. Yeah, there's another picture of it. You definitely got to sight it in. I'm pretty sure I guess. It shows you everything. Everything. There's your scope adjust. This damn camera. And warning, 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 warning. There's some of the specifications you probably want to see. Let me see if I can get some more light on this. That's too bright. That's too dim. Ah, there we go. Brake barrel. It's pretty the first gun I ever had. It's got some kick to it. It's kind of neat. Big giant spring. It comes pretty well oiled too. There's a lot of oil in it. I had oil on my hands when I took it out of the box. So that's good. There's your Maximum velocity, 305 yards. I don't know if it do. I don't know if it'll do that. Maybe with a a sharp pointed one. Brake barrel 1.77. See the model 1052 is the 22 caliber. Which I'm gonna get another one of these, but I want one that holds like 20 rounds, because this is a single shot. Slow loading. Winchester air rifle. Yeah, it's pretty nice though. I think everything else is uh... Yeah, it's all different language now. 
but it's uh I like it I have another one that's about a 1400 FPS it's not cheap date they're not I just wanted something I can shoot all the time at anything cans anything so might as well break the gun out like I said it's pretty stout it's got a synthetic stock on it it's got a pad nice little pad on the back trigger this is the safety I was telling you every time you cock it back it goes back so you can't you can't shoot it until you it's got nice lettering on it even has directions on how to do it this with one hand. That's what it cocked. And your little I gotta get some better lighting in here. in there see this is why I want one that I can reload all the time but just to carry around you know? I mean if you're just going out shooting squirrel you're not gonna be shooting all the time anyway and don't miss I like it. Got some weight to it. Definitely need a sling. I don't know where I would put the sling though because the barrel action comes down through this way. I'd either have to tie it off the side, which if you put a lot of stress, or just put it down here. One here and then maybe one way, way back there. That would probably do the trick. Could wrap a rope around it. I don't really want to put nothing on the barrel. Hmm. Well, there she is. Uh, I paid like 60 bucks for it. Not bad. That's something to play with. Trigger action. Trigger's got a long trigger on it. Long one. See how it kick like that? It kicks. Looks pretty damn good. I have something set up over there, so it's all good. Here's the safety. Sure to fly. It has such a long swing, though. I should do that again. I'll let you see it. I'll let you see it shake. It's got some kick. Not like a 22. Oh, pretty close, though. I mean, you've seen it move. really oiled. It's got a lot of oil on it. Never, don't ever drive fire me either. I'm sorry for moving the can around so much. I don't have my tripod. It's broken. That's with it in. It goes in kind of tight too. You really got to get push it in there with your finger. I got a couple of 10 pump BB guns. 
Mr. Puppet ten times. This ain't bad. A bad for 60 bucks. Well, hope you liked it and enjoyed it. It's got a little kick though. It does. You know, I was shocked when I first shot it. I wasn't ready for it at all. Not like that. But uh, uh hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll have more. Like, subscribe, share, do whatever you gotta do. I got a lot more to share. I gotta get that RV going too. Alright. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a good day.